Hello everyone. Welcome to this follow-up for Murmur by R.E.M. What an incredible album. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys saw on my Reckoning reaction, but uh, this is my ninth favorite album of all time now. Um, it's way up there, top 10, easily. Um, really only two tracks on this album that I wasn't completely into, but I still think that they're perfectly fine tracks. Um, been very eager to talk about this one, so let's go ahead and get into the track by track here. As you can see, um, I love almost all of these, uh, and all the others that I don't love I think are quite good. So, beginning with Radio Free Europe, stellar post-punky jangle pop track, great way to open the album <coughs> and give people a taste of what's to come. Um, you got Stipe's gravelly vocals with intriguing lyrics. Um, Buck's jangly guitar lines, Mills' melodic bass with a great tone, and the tight drums from Barry. It's just, you know, all good stuff. Classic song. Um, instant classic when I listen to it. Pilgrimage. What a perfect anthemic jangle pop alt rock track. Um, the first signs of peculiar composition with the verses here. Uh, simple but super catchy chorus with great mixing. Sublime backing vocal harmonies highlighted here as well. Just stellar track. Uh, goes right into Laughing, which I think is a genius song. Everything is structured perfectly. The jangly verses, the pre-chorus is vocal melody, uh, and the main chorus with a fantastic uh, piano line playing uh, the uh, bass notes there. It's just really good. It's like a good example of like bright, but I'm so sorry, my hair is driving me crazy. There's this one curly one, you see it? Anyway, uh, like good example of uh, on this album, them achieving bright sounds with a dark, mysterious tone. Um, just 10 out of 10, really good. Talk about the passion. Uh, the first dip in quality to me, but that's really no knock on the song itself. It's very straightforward and it kind of lacks the mystery spice of the previous tracks. Um, but it works well as a softer and slower album track. I really don't have anything like negative to say about this one. Um, Moral Kiosk. What a dynamic alt-rock track. Strange chords with a great guitar riff over um, and a super addictive and strange chanty chorus. Um, and I love when it comes back at the end with like a chunky bass to highlight the chord tones. Just really nice way to close the, the song out. Um, arguably one of the stranger ones on the album, I would say. Uh, Perfect Circle, man. One of the most beautiful tracks I've ever heard. Uh, the dual piano with the bright honky-tonk sound. Uh, it gives the song like a music boxy, almost otherworldly feel uh, for not utilizing much reverb. Very impressive. Um, the strength of the song is how it does a lot with very little. Um, and with powerful, mysterious lyrics. It's just an incredible track. Uh, onto the B side, we have Catapult. It's a fun alt rock track. It gets a bit stale on repeat listens, uh, but it works fine in like a full album listen. Um, verses can be a bit dull, but the chorus is fun and jangly. Uh, Sitting Still, a decent B side for Radio Free Europe, and it features a melodic bit because it features a melodic bass in the verses, uh, but it has that darker tone. Uh, nothing bad here uh, to say. It's just, uh, it's good. Uh, not as good as Radio Free Europe. Uh, nine to nine is a good track and I can kind of see this influencing Radiohead down the road as far as like complicated alt rock uh, tones it just doesn't really vibe with the rest of the album but it's good cool bass and guitar work shaking through um, I love the anthemic nature of this track it's like a brighter insight into what pilgrimage tapped into uh, the key change near the end with the introduced vocal harmonies it's like it's one of the highlights of the album for me it's just genius work um, we walk uh, more great mystery here the guitar and the bass interplay is mesmerizing. The cryptic lyrics and that distant crashing sound. It's just a really compelling penultimate track. Uh, and then West of the Fields is a solid post-punk track, but kind of like 9 to 9, it's somewhat out of place sound-wise. Only somewhat, though, and I, and I think the verses are nice. Um, so that's how I feel about the album. I think it's incredible. Um, the contrast that they're able to achieve between almost contradictory things... Um, is stunning and it's like you have to listen to the album to really like get it yourself um because when you like describe the album it's almost like you're contradicting yourself it's like um it's really like uh poppy and melodic but it's also super mysterious and complicated and you're like what and when i said like it's bright but dark at the same time like it's bright in tone 
a darkened atmosphere, um, clear sounds, but mysterious like vibes. It's, I don't know. It, it's such an incredible album and I've been listening to it a lot. Uh, especially my favorite tracks, which, by the way, favorite tracks are Pilgrimage, Laughing, and Perfect Circle, followed extremely closely by Reader for Europe, Moral Kiosk, and Shaking Through, and We Walk. Um, but, yeah, fantastic stuff. I could I could talk about this forever, but I'm not going to. Um, and I'm very eager to see... I have not listened to Fables yet as of recording this, so I'm very eager to see if they can kind of tap back into this kind of thing uh, going forward. I don't need, like, the genius of this, but I love... The like, because some of the I love the mysterious aspect of REM, I'll put it that way. And even if like future albums or songs aren't able to achieve what I think was really good composition, I love the mystery aspect, the, the cryptic stuff, because that's a cool vibe. So that is my follow up to REM. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, Godspeed. <laughs>